Don in London, hello. November 13th, and my videos are all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my addictive behaviour, people, places and things, collecting, trying to be right, trying to love as best I could, trying to be perfect and never so. So these days, one day at a time, staying sober and trying not to be so self-centred, self-obsessed and self-harming. Because if I'm self-harming, or was, I was probably harming others as well, because I had a distorted outlook on life. Yeah, just one day at a time, less of a distorted outlook, less in the, less in the fantasy of what life can be, and less living in the past. So that's what recovery does for me. Brings me into today, just as it is, hopefully. Uh, understanding how I'm feeling on a daily basis. So I do ask myself these questions, how am I feeling, why, and what can I do? And when I woke up this morning, I was distinctly in pain. Uh, part of my maladies this year, comminuted fractures in my foot, two slip discs, uh, trapped nerve, left foot drop, on top of type 1 diabetes, clinical depression, and recovery. So quite a lot of things to cope with. And the really, the only way I've done it is to keep in touch with people in fellowship and family, of course, and community and the medical people. So there's quite a few people involved. But in my addictive, addictive days, I've tried to do it all on my own. And I would struggle through all the broken bones I've had over the years and just try and show up in a way which was inappropriate, which was determined to be perfect, but was never perfect. And now I'm not striving to be perfect, I'm just striving to be okay with this one day. And today, November 13, I share about the Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, it's a program of attraction. In other words, what you see is what you get. I emphasize what you see is what you get on a daily basis with the Fellowship of AA. We're only as good as our last encounter. So sometimes you meet people who are very happy with their sobriety today, some people who are not so happy with their sobriety today, and some people very devastated because they're still trying to find sobriety or just devastated by life. So life keeps on happening and fellowship helps me be able to cope with reality, the reality of now. And some say that is the spiritual connection to living, living reality. Anyway, Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, don't speak for it, never can, never will, because it's full of unique, authentic people. And as I say, attraction rather than promotion, one of the things which is important to remember, what we see is what we get, good and bad. So we learn the wisdom from these encounters, and we don't promote, simply because we can't guarantee anything, because life is life, and sobriety is contingent on our ability to cope with reality. I share from uh, this book, The Daily Reflections, which is an AA book, uh, one page a day, and November's all about prayer and meditation, and uh, I, was, I found it off-putting to start with, because I was never sure whether I was an agnostic, an atheist, or a believer in God, simply because life experience was my teacher, and uh, life hadn't taught me much about atheism, agnosticism, or believing other than I had my own opinion, which was based on self-interest. That's part of the reading today. But I also share the AA preamble, which is on this handy little card, available at your local AA meeting if you wish to go to one, or need to go to one, and I need to go to one at lunchtime. So, what is AA? This is the AA preamble shared at every meeting. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other, that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contribution. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution, but every single person inside is. But we just don't bring it to the party. AA is about sobriety does not wish to engage in any controversy, which is why we leave our beliefs and all those things at the door. Neither endorses nor opposes any causes, but we do talk about them because we're human. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety, and none of us are perfect. And that's the great, that greatest gift is. If other people can't be perfect, it means we don't have to be either, but we try, try to do the best we can today.
And today's reading in the Daily Reflections, November 13th, is all about looking outward and trying not to be too selfish in our, out, and in our attitudes and behaviour. And it says here, We ask especially for freedom from self-will and are careful to make no requests for ourselves only. This is about prayer meditation. We may ask up for ourselves, however, if others will be helped. We are careful never to pray for our own selfish ends. In other words, please God give me that job, or please God let me win the lottery. Because those things are up to life experience and our aptitudes, or just fate. As an active alcoholic, I allowed selfishness to run rampant in my life. And I didn't know how selfish it was, because I didn't know I had a disease which made me selfish. I was so attached to my drinking and other selfish habits that people and moral principles came second. I don't know, I think my growing up days and my decades of experience over the years is that most people have uh, a difficulty with their moral turpitude depending on the culture at the time. But that's no excuse. Now when I pray for the good of others rather than my own selfish ends, I practice a dis discipline of the, in letting go of selfish attachments caring for my fellows and preparing for the day when I will be required to let go of all earthly attachments. In other words, put people first rather than materialistic things. So if we see somebody fall off a bicycle, like me, I hope you come and help me. But a selfish end there is, isn't there? And the most important thing is uh, getting perspective. It's not putting ourselves down to the point where we don't matter anymore. We matter equally, and so do other people. So we let go prejudice, maybe, hopefully. And uh, that's as far as I can go today, I think. So I share at the end of these videos the serenity prayer, the ultimate prayer meditation for me, because it helps me out in the moment when I'm either too happy or too sad to try and find a bit of perspective. And the serenity prayer, to God or good conscience, as you come to believe or already believe, whether you're an agnostic, atheist or believer, it's your choice, always. Unique and authentic we are. So to God and good conscience, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, for me, is always just for today.